Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough triple layer puzzle but I think I'm gonna go take a peek see up here first I think this is just gonna lead over to the exit to this particular room because you know you see the door up there but I'm just kind of curious to see if there's any sort of little hints or you know those little plaque things just in general maybe fluttering around here no, I guess not. Alas, alas. <laughs> uh, I also wonder sometimes if there's a way to like jump from one of these things to another one of these things, but I, it, there probably isn't, or maybe there is like maybe only at the start where there's that really huge fall. That that you could probably use to jump quite a few different places. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, just, I don't know the physics of the game because, you know, it's, it's not a game that you're jumping around a lot and whatnot. Yeah, so it's just mainly EO puzzles. And speaking of puzzles, here is the multi-layered one. Well, obviously, <laughs> at least I think obviously. This is a corner one. Yeah, that's bottom corner. So that's absolutely got to transition up to this somehow. And then that also means since that's a corner, this one's got to lay flat somehow. So that means that's a corner piece in on itself. This one can go either like that, I mean, not like that, or like that, or uh, like that. So I'm just going to keep that in mind, I guess. But yeah, I think that one is going to be fine. I mean, these three are... I mean, I should say this one and this one is going to be fine as is. By the way, it's really hard to see. Like, when you're looking up, look at, look at this. It's like the piece in the... It just disappears in the black. Yeah, yeah, uh. <laughs> well, that's kind of the fault of the graphical style, I guess. But maybe in such cases, it would have been better to put a little ceiling above here. You know, like for... Like put a little arc or something. I don't know. A little design. So, okay, since this is the corner piece, in theory... That means this has got to go straight across because, well, okay, that's not in theory, that's a, that's a definite. And then this has got to go and attach to that. And then this has got to have its back turned to that some which way. Uh, I don't know how this transitions up. Like, maybe it goes up, maybe it goes to that way. Let's see if we can logically deduce this. Because so far, we've logically deduced what we've gotten so far. Oh, this one has to connect to that one. And that's an L piece, then this one is also a corner piece of its own kind. Right, right. And this one can go either up or straight left. Well, you know, left th being that way. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. This one actually, if it is... If it's going to go around like that, if, if it is going to, I don't know if it will, I would have to have that something like there. This is just this is just me trying to visualize things, by the way. Uh, here's another sort of kind of potential dead end here. So that means I could have that... No, wait, wait, wait. Like that. And then I... Oops, route this. That vertical, I swear. I route that around to go... Whoa, whoa, I've hit it too far. Yeah, like that. And then we turn this around... Oops, staying the verticals, like so. How about I go like this? This is looking like it has promise. And then flip this up. Because this, this is the back end of that piece, right? Yeah. So then I just got that top layer type thing going around here, I guess. Um... I think I do. <laughs> let's, let's see here. We just gotta route that like there. And then... Oh, wait, wait. This has actually gotta flip, be flipped like that. Yeah. Because that one's... I route it up to go like that. that. That doesn't matter, though, because I can still route that around like so. And then... Oops, oops, oops. Uh, like that. Oops. No, no, no. Ceiling of blackness. <laughs> um, can I just like do an infinite loop at the top layer? No, <laughs> that would be too easy. No, there's still the. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Uh, no. <laughs> I thought maybe there's a way to uh, infinite loop 
Because that does actually look like that I've got it all solved, except for that uh, tippy top portion. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Oh, yeah! So, look at that. The top layer is actually separate from the other one. So, as long as pieces just connect in general, that that's an interesting discovery there. It, it, it means that they don't have to connect to the lower layers. They just have to go, okay... Okay, that actually opens up some possibilities there in the old noodle. <laughs> I'm glad that I tried that. So, okay, I, I solved it a lot quicker than I thought it was going to, but I guess mainly because it was more logical than the other ones. Like, you know how it had the corner piece uh, that I started with, and then it just led over to the straight line that led to a, an, an L that had to be another corner piece, etc., etc., until I basically got to the end for the, for the most part of that sort of logical stuff. And I just sort of kept those in mind, and then I, uh, I went with that. Wait, 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 hold. Is that what I think it is? Is that... Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. That's where I jumped up that staircase. See that? Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> Enough sightseeing. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there is just definitely a certain amount of logic to these puzzles. It's just that when there's a lot of pieces, it's pretty hard to visualize. Okay, where is this? Uh... Oh, this is taking me back to the beginning. Isn't this? So that means, isn't this the one that is... Uh, I don't want, I don't want to go, like, a, to a dead end, and then... Like, is this the one on the, the far right, or is this the one on the far... Okay, that's the one on the far right. So this, this means it did finally route me back over on the other path to that other diabolical puzzle that I skipped on until later. Now, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve the second one, this part. I'll definitely give it a good shot. And then, I don't know if there's any more puzzles after that, besides that one that we've seen across that, um... That... Crevice, whatever you want to call it, the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you know, that separated me from the other puzzle. It's, if you notice, there's, there's a limit to how far away you can click on stuff. So, you know, the thing about it is that I'd, I'd actually have to be next to it in order to actually solve it. So I couldn't solve it from a distance or anything like that. Alright, so now that I got a fresh mind for this puzzle, I can re-begin to work on it, I guess. <sighs> I don't know, though. I mean, this is this is an annoying one. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you why it's an annoying one here. So basically, you've got three of these little stickers. See, there's a stick like this. It's, it's, a, it's a one by two by two stick. There's a sticker here. There's a sticker over here. Now you'll notice that these stickers are all in the middle. Like it's just not like they're ending off at a corner. They're ending ending at the middle of loops and stuff like that. So it's kinda hard to visualize that sort of thing. But okay, I'm gonna start with ye old logic like I did before. Here's a corner. That's it wait, I kinda think of it. Is this where I left it from the last time? I think this is where I left it from the last time. Yeah. Is there, there's a lot of linkages going on here. Anyway, let's just do it from the top logically here. So that means this one either got to go that way or that way. This one has got to be flat and watch, well, see, it's pointing that way. Uh, actually, wait, hold on, hold on. That means this one has absolutely got to have its back turned to that one. All right. Because if that one's going to go to there, this there's only... That possibility and that possibility. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there for. No, actually, I could leave it like that for now. And if I, oops, if I really wanted to, I could just flip that around for now, I guess. Um. So, uh, so this doesn't mean that this and that one is complete. I'm just kind of, kind of feeling things out. Uh. Let's see here. Oops, I just caps locked. That's okay. <laughs> I managed to turn it off with my pinky. Not that the caps lock are better in a, in a game like this anyway. It's just it's not like we're playing type invaders or something like that. Uh, wait, is this? Yeah, that's connected. Okay. Um, so I'm going to flip this one. Oops. Yeah, like that, I guess. And then... Oops. Oops. Ah, vertigo. Okay. <laughs> like that, I guess. And then I can loop those around to uh, 
here. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! When you use the logic, it's solvable! <laughs> I don't think I should push my luck and do another do another puzzle though, but oh actually did, I, did you get an idea of what the solution looked like here? Just take a peek see here. Yeah, there's your solution. <laughs> okay. Moving on here. I might actually do one of those things for all the puzzles just so that you can see um, the solutions of each of them a little bit more closely because I know I, I kind of jumped away from some of them quick So I might want to look through the footage and see which ones I jumped jumped away from rather quick Although you might I think you might actually be able to piece it together from the uh, uh, The ending portion of the footage that because I always left something like a good chunk of something Ooh, look at this secret <laughs> Like because I always left a good chunk of something uh, left on there so that you can see what I was manipulating last basically uh, where am I going here? I don't know. I'm just kind of looking for <laughs> any sort of corner here. Uh, is this a jump? Yes, it's a jump. Okay. I, like, I have no idea where I'm going here. I'm just kind of looking around to see. Like, I, it looks like I've discovered another puzzle here. But where does the, the stairs on the other route lead to? That is the question. Because, yeah, I just, I just kind of went, you know, how I do my thing where I go all along the, the walls and stuff to kind of take a peek see around where things are going but whoa, 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 whoa look at this look at this these pieces aren't black whoa, 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 whoa what is this is this like the final puzzle in the game here if so then I'm not I'm not doing this just yet I'm going back over to the stairs here I think I can just like zoom up these crisscrosses right down the middle here, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty convenient. Uh, is this like a little... S no, I thought that was a slope there for a second, but it's just the color is kind of kind of merging there. So, okay, I gotta remember that there's a super secret gray puzzle over there uh, on the the curve of the stairs, I guess you could say. Ooh! <laughs> it's a fuzzy brush and gimp! Um... So I'm just gonna go back over to the other side and explore that, I guess. Because yeah, here we are back at the, the curve of the stairs, as I was saying. And I don't know if that's just like a a secret puzzle or if that really is the final puzzle. It probably couldn't be the final puzzle because there's still that other one. Remember that other one that I came across where it was a, uh, as I said, across the Grand Canyon, and then I uh, I couldn't get to it. So there was still that one. That was a normal black one. But the thing about it was that other one, you know, it was at a dead end. There wasn't anything more to do there. So I'm thinking that once I, oh, hello, plaque. Once I solve the uh, other one down there, it'll be game over, probably. There's not always a health pack hidden. <laughs> it's, it's hitting, I mean, it's like hinting that there is something hidden by the stairs, at least, but. Yeah, there, there wouldn't be health in this game. You can't die if you fall from 30 stories up. Even if you tried, and I sure tried. <laughs> Alright, let's go up the stairs then. And maybe this is going to lead me to that uh, other large black one that i seen over at the other side. Ding! Ooh, this is just so atmospheric. I like that. Like, let's just listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh my, oh my, it's another puzzle. Oh, who would have guessed? But, so there's, so then if this is here and this isn't the one by the Grand Canyon, then that means the one by the Grand Canyon is probably past this point of no return, which is probably another point of return eventually. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I tackle which is probably going to be another diabolical puzzle. <laughs> but I am definitely getting the logic of it. Because you see, you just seen me solve two of them in a relatively short amount of time. So I'm definitely getting the hang of it. Ooh.